Why are variable speed pumps better for swimming pools? This is a really important question. A lot of people are asking this these days, and the, there's a lot of reasons why they are better, in fact, and I'm going to give you a, a bunch of good reasons why variable speed pumps are better than single speed pumps. And the first thing, the primary reason why, is they just use less electricity. Less electricity means cost savings for you. If it costs you less to operate your pool, that's something you want, right? Well, that's something that variable speed pumps can deliver on. I actually have another video that I posted where I showed that over a seven year service cycle, I was able to save $4,300 by switching to a variable speed swimming pool pump. And it only cost, you know, maybe $500 more than the single speed counterpart, and yet it's able to save thousands of dollars over its lifetime. And the reality is it'll probably run a lot longer than seven years even. And that's just a reasonable measure for your return on investment. And as I said in that video, $4,300 return for a $500 investment for your variable speed pump. Like that's a slam dunk. You definitely want one for cost savings. But there's more than that. There's, there's a couple more really legitimate reasons. One of them is that single speed pumps, which is what typically the industry has used up until now, they only have one speed, it's fast, and they move a lot of water. And that can actually be a problem. And you're thinking, well, how could that be a problem? It moves a lot of water, that's good, right? It can be to a certain degree, but what about if you have a filter, like a sand filter, and that filter can only handle maybe 50 or 60 gallons per minute of flow? What if the pump is able to deliver 100 or 120 gallons per minute? Well, what happens there? What normally happens is that your filter just either breaks or wears out prematurely. And this would be a failure to match the equipment properly to each other. And that's something that permeates the swimming pool industry. It's so common to encounter people who have pumps and filters that just don't match at all. The flow rates to them just do not jive. And what's happening is the sand filters are being overdriven. It's compromising the filtration quality, but more impo importantly, it's compromising the longevity of the filter itself. And then the, the pool owner is mad because, you know, every three years you need a new filter. What the heck's going on here? Well, if you have a giant, powerful, single speed pump, it's very likely overdriving your sand filter. And I keep saying sand filters because they're kind of notorious for having a low maximum design flow rate, whereas cartridge filters and DE filters, typically speaking, can handle higher flow rates. Uh, getting back to the, the variable speed pump question here, why are they better? Well, the next reason why is that they are a totally enclosed fan cooled motor, TEFC motors. These are different than the older single speed pumps, which had an open motor design during which it would take ambient room temperature air, draw it over the motor windings in order to keep the motor cool. That's how these pumps operate. Where that is bad is if you have an environment where there's like a lot of dust, dust is bad for electrical windings, but more importantly, chlorinated water. If your pool pump has a leak from the pressure side connection or from the, the main seal, that chlorinated water will get drawn through the motor and it will prematurely cause your motor to fail. And that's been a main failure point for single speed pumps for decades. Totally enclosed fan cool motors do not really suffer the same consequences from environmental concerns like dust or a leaking pool pump connection because they are an enclosed fan cooled motor. Definitely an advantage. Uh, here's the biggest advantage other than cost savings, in my opinion, is the fact that these variable speed pumps are just so much quieter. If you were to list out the major complaints that people have about swimming pools or swimming pool pumps, it's almost entirely going to be cost. And then the, just they're so loud, like even when they're in perfect running condition, they're loud as heck. When they start to break down or have bearing problems, they're obnoxiously loud. Your neighbors will complain. You'll start to get fines for noise violations. So a variable speed pump, as soon as you turn down the RPM past, you know, it's 3,450 RPM is what a single speed pump runs at. By the time you get to 2,500 RPM or so, it's so much quieter. It's half the noise level that it was before. And when you get down to the lower ranges, you know, 1500, 1000, 750 RPM on some pools, the pump is so quiet, you actually can't tell if it's running unless you put your hand on it. So that complaint that pool owners have had for decades, these pumps, they make so much noise. Now you only need to run your pump at the higher speeds a few hours a day. So pick a few hours a day where you don't mind the noise as much. And for the rest of the day, you're not going to hear it running. And that's a huge advantage. 
And so the final point that I'm going to make about variable speed pumps and why they're better is just improved filtration. It was never an advantage to have a pump jamming, you know, 60, 80, 100 gallons per minute through your filter. That's just how the, the industry was designed to work. But the reality is, is that slowing down that filtration for part of the day, most of the day even, allows your filter to operate better. It's not an advantage for your filter to try to deal with 100 gallons per minute of water flow. Sure, there's something to be said about times of the day where you want higher pure or higher amounts of, of volume flowing through your filter, but for the most part, running at 20, 30, 40 gallons per minute, that's gonna be an advantage and you're gonna have improved filtration quality as a result of that. So these are the reasons why I say variable speed pumps are better and I hope you agree and you should probably get one for your swimming pool. If you found this information helpful, please be sure to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And you can check out my website, swimmingpoolsteve.com.